Hi, my name is Zach. I'm a rising sophomore at Brooklyn Technical High School. And for my final project, I made the RetroPie video game emulator. And the way it works is by using this, which is called a Raspberry Pi, and that's basically a mini computer that can be used to do a variety of different things, such as an emulator. The way I got it to work was, so first, you buy the Raspberry Pi. Then I uh, attached heat sinks because these things can overheat pretty easily, so you want to keep it cool, and then plugged it into the screen. And then I had to code in the actual software for the device. So I took this SD card and plugged it into my computer, and then I tried to download the RetroPie system onto it. This actually took a while because first I tried using Etcher and then Apple Pie Baker, and neither of those worked. So I had to use sudo commands in a terminal in order to force the download onto the SD card. But then after that, I plugged it into the RetroPie, and everything was working fine. Um, then I plugged in a remote set up the remote and configuration for the remote, and then I could was ready to start downloading games and playing them. So first, I uh, tried downloading Super Mario World, which worked fine, except a major problem there was the controls were not mapped out properly, so there were some things you couldn't do, which made the game very hard to play. So I tried downloading a more simplistic game with less button prompts, because this remote doesn't have, is not mapped out in the same format as the consoles of those times. So I downloaded Super Mario Bros and that worked fine. Uh, there were no no real button problems with that. And so then I was able to start fully playing games on this RetroPie. As I mentioned, the main problem is button layout, but you can either switch the controls around or play a different game. Works fine. Thank you.